Hey everyone, this is Tim Williams from TWI uh, coming at you live. Uh, today is Tuesday, it's our Transformation Talk Day. And I wanted to talk to you about the subject of um, doubt, power, and confidence. I'm at our Detroit location here at the Transformation Center. And I wanted to bring this subject up because I ran across a quote last week. And the quote was, it said, um, when you doubt your power, you give power to doubt. When you doubt your power, you give power to doubt. Now, remember, power is it is your ability to act. Power is your ability to produce an effect. That's your power. And you have it. You have power. I have power. We have power. You have power to act. You have power to produce an effect. However, when you doubt that power, then that doubt will now begin to undermine your progress. You're going to need power in order to progress. You're going to need power in order to achieve the things that you set out to achieve as far as your goals and your objectives. You're going to need power to, to get that done. But when you start doubting your power, when you start questioning whether or not you have the ability to get it done, it's going to undermine your progress. When you start questioning whether or not you can produce that effect, it's going to undermine your progress. And that is the purpose of doubt. You know, doubt comes in and, 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 you know, I was thinking about well, where does doubt come from? Because I can remember, uh, I can remember as a younger person that uh, we would try some crazy things when I was growing up and we would uh, build bike ramps and jump over bikes and jump over some of our friends. We would, you know, ask them to lay down and jump over them, you know, with our bikes. So we would climb a garage and jump off the garage and you may think I'm crazy. But what I'm talking about is that we had power and, and, and we, we had this confidence in our power, you know, that we had this ability. We had this this fearlessness about us and, and we were willing to try anything almost uh, because we just didn't know that we couldn't. But what happened to that? What happened to that fearlessness? What happened to that courage? What happened to that that power that we had? Or better yet, what happened to the confidence that we had in our power? And quite frankly, I, uh, the best short answer is we grew up. You know, we grew up. It's something about growing up that brought in a whole lot of doubt. And I'm not advocating that we go back to being children by no means, but what I am suggesting is that we rediscover that confidence that we had uh, when we were kids. And, and if you're a young person watching this, don't learn doubt, don't learn fear, don't allow phobias to get inside of you. Remain confident in the power because you have the power. You have the ability to get things done. You have the ability to produce a desired effect. You can accomplish your goals. You can surpass your goals because you have the power and the power is within you. But you cannot doubt that power. And as soon as you start doubting that power, uh, you're going to now start undermining your progress. And so I, I, I begin to ask, you know, well, what happened? You know, what caused us to question our power? What caused us uh, to question whether or not we could get the job done? Or better yet, who caused? Because sometimes it's not a what. Sometimes it's a who. Who caused you to doubt? Who caused you to question whether or not you could get the job done? And what I want to encourage you today is that as you think about that, is that, uh, that you get a daily dose of vitamin C, you know? And vitamin C for me is confidence, you know, and confidence is your consciousness of your power. So you have power, which is your ability to get the job done. You have power, which is your ability to act. You have power, which is your ability to produce uh, an effect. What you and I need is confidence. We need confidence in our power and confidence is our consciousness. It's our consciousness of our power. It's our awareness that we got the power. It's our awareness that uh, uh, that power resides in us. It's our awareness that, hey, I can do this thing. I can achieve that goal. I can be successful in life. I be successful at what I set my mind out to do. Why? Because I have the power. But in order to do that, you have to have confidence in the power. So the Bible says, you know, don't throw away this good book that I read often. It says, don't throw away, don't fling away your confidence because it has a great reward. 
And I want to encourage you today, don't throw away your confidence. Yeah, don't throw it away. Don't fling it away. Pick your confidence up. Allow your confidence, which is your consciousness of your power, to stir and motivate you. See, don't give up. Don't turn back now. All you know, all you've been through, don't turn your back on it. All that you've learned, don't turn your back on all the truth you know and understand. You know things. You are gifted. You are skilled. You are talented. You have power. You have ability to get the job done. Say it with me. I have power. I have the ability to get the job done. But don't throw it away. Don't throw away the power. Well, and don't throw away the confidence in the power. You got to remember that you have come too far to turn back now. And if you're just getting started, you definitely don't want to quit. You don't want to quit at any point uh, along the way. But in order to do that, you have to remain confident in your power. So don't throw away your confidence. Don't throw it away. Don't fling it away. Remember, you have the power. You got the ability to get the job done. You got this. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Stop doubting your power. Because when you doubt your power, you give power to your doubt. I want to encourage you that you have the power. And what you need is just confidence in that power. Believe in yourself. Be aware that you got the power. Don't fling it away. Don't throw it away. You got this. Until next time, this is Tim Williams, Transformation Talk from TWI. Bye-bye.